Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today, we are going to go through a walkthrough of Flint Hills, possibly my new favorite Iowa map. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you can give a thumbs up. Over 75% of you guys are not subscribed, so if you could help me out by clicking that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. First thing we're going to touch on is a quick map overview. You have the town area right over here in the top left portion of the map. This is the town right here. Um, I, I personally, I think the town is a little sparse in my opinion. Uh, so I would, uh, I would probably take some buildings and build it out just a little bit more. You'll see that in just a second. Then you have a bunch of, a bunch of fields and a bunch of farms all over the place, all sectioned off pretty well. There are even some, uh, farms and areas that are purchasable on their own, separate from the land itself. A lot of good options here. Fields are pretty well, uh, spaced out. And there are some very, very large fields and some fields that are rather small as well. So... A lot of variety, vari variety here on the map. English is hard, okay? All right, so we're going to pull on out of where you will uh, spawn your new vehicles in. This is the store here in town, and uh, you, this is where everything that you buy will appear. And I believe even everything that you reset will appear here as well. Oh, then let's pull out our, let's pull out our, wheel, our, our wheels. Jeez, Jake, you know what? Look, I'm going to... English hard. So then we come to like the first section of town here. Now, personally, like I said, I would fill out the town just a little bit more. Um, I think like this area right here would be good to put in some business and stuff, which the nice thing about it too, I suppose, is that the fact that the town isn't really fully filled out, you have the possibility to build it out how you would like and actually have businesses. Like if someone wanted to build a dealership right there in that open space, they very well could. And then you turn left here and you go down the highway. This is the main highway that stretches through the whole map on the kind of top portion of the map the rest of the roadways are gravel aside from this one here there is a casey's here in town various homes and you got various uh cell points right over here so if we just pull in here real quick to the flint hills something something i couldn't quite read the sign you'll see they got a parking lot and the entrance for the truck traffic is right over there and you can pull on in and it's actually a pretty good sized uh area a couple low hanging pipes and stuff like that that you will have to watch when driving through now for those of you guys are wondering this map is currently not the newest version of the map the one that i'm on right now at the time of recording this we are just you know a few days or so before the new version is released the new version primarily uh only has the change of custom textures and stuff on the fields and things like that I believe both versions will remain available to my knowledge. You can find this map on JS Modding. I will link uh, a link down below. I will also link a walkthrough by another YouTuber who I initially saw this map through in the description down below as well. So there are some rivers and stuff that hold or some creeks that hold water that run through the map as well. And you will notice there are uh, waterways and grass strips. And uh, I have not noticed any terraces yet because we are in northern Iowa where the land is rather flat so there's not really any need for terraces if you turn left right here at this intersection you come up to the what i believe to be main farm this is the farm that depending on which option you select will already have equipment located on it so as you can see you have a large grain storage uh, kind of system there right next to the house which i i think is not the best idea those things can be pretty loud but that is probably how it is in real life as well you got a pretty good sized uh, area here with these i believe custom sheds and stuff these are sheds that i don't recognize from anywhere else let's pull up here and check them out real quick let's see the doors open the doors do open can you just lift these from the outside you cannot you do have to enter into the building and looks like there are buttons here that you can press to open the garage doors as i said this farm comes well equipped with equipment depending on the option that you select you have all john deere equipment all base in-game equipment for those of you who run absolutely no mods there is also a pre-existing water pressure washer here uh if you were to purchase this farm whether it actually works or not i don't know but perhaps you'd be able to place one just outside of that wall and kind of glitch it through in some capacity this looks like it's primarily a wash bay. Now, I noticed there are lights up top. Let's see if the lights actually turn on. There's a light trigger right here, and it does appear that the lights do work when you walk up to the light triggers. Let's test, let's test the one that's over here. 
and that w technically worked but it did glitch out so when you turn on from one you'll probably will want to go back and turn it off from that same one um otherwise you will just have to press it twice like we just had to there same for in here you have light triggers located in various areas and all the lights do appear to work because this is based off of kind of the north uh east portion of iowa it is rather flat and there are not a whole lot of trees you do have trees around in kind of these planted um windbreak style it's very common up in these areas looks like there is also a uh, old rusted car parked out here that's kind of cool cool little detail to have in now let's check on this other barn i don't know for sure but there is a light up above here and i'm going to assume that that does light up at nighttime automatically so this barn door you can actually open from the outside when you press with one it will open both you step inside and there is a light trigger right on the inside of the door which does enable the lights in here as well as you can see the panels on the side of the door right here do have some skylights or on the side of the wall do have some skylights to try and let in some natural light overall these are actually really nice barns and i would love to have these placeables um for uh just other stuff in the future i do quite like it and again you get some implements and other um various pieces of equipment included with this farm now this map does require that you have the gsi kind of uh, uh what is it global companies you need global companies and you need the gsi like global companies uh dryer or, or whatever it is called these are some very large bins here and uh do they have collisions here looks like this might very well have collisions to the point where you could walk all the way up to the top of this tower which is actually very very cool i don't know if you could walk onto that bin there let's test it you can so you can actually get on top of all the bins and everything in this area and you can climb all the way up to the very top there as you can see which is actually really cool not many grain uh kind of silo complexes that are modeled have collisions throughout the whole deal like that jumping in and looking at your crop types we will see you have all the standard crop types that are included in the game and no additional crop types at this time this map is also seasons ready for those who are wondering that we are currently not running the game with seasons this game is completely stock the only mod we're running at the moment is this ford f-150 all right but that is the main farm uh, up here and we are going to run out and just check kind of what the fields are like out here the fields do have varying uh styles and sizes you can see it better when i get on this map this field is very open with not much uh, to it because it is very flat. Great for larger GPS work and tractors. And then when you get down here to the bottom left court portion of the uh, of the map, you do start to run into there. There are more trees over here. There are more creeks and waterways, and there are more uh, uh, grass strips in the fields throughout here as well. This map does have 32 angle uh, textures as well, to my knowledge, or or I'm not exactly sure the correct way to explain and pronounce that, but you'll notice some maps when you are going through and cultivating, they uh, the textures become very angular. They tend to go just like kind of north, south, east, west, and nothing more than that. This map does uh, have 32 angle or something along those lines is what it's called. So the textures do kind of flow a lot more smoothly. There is not any active, active mud on this map to my knowledge. I could be incorrect about that. But just you know how like nebraska lands has that kind of mud in some areas to my knowledge this map does not contain that feature as you can see there are many different farms all of which are completely unique to one another none of them share a similar um, uh, building model or anything like that they are all completely unique i believe to my knowledge there are something along the lines of 13 plus pre-existing farms on this map of course, the map is also flat enough that you can very easily build your own farm to your own design anywhere on the map as well. Right here to our left, you will notice one of the cell points. This is a cooperative, a farmer's cooperative of sort right over here. You can pull around to the backside right there where that red drop off is. This weight right here. You can get your weight and you can uh, dump your crop right on over here to sell in fact i entered this thing in backwards you're supposed to go the direction <laughs> that we're not going but you get the idea one thing i do want to note to you guys you cannot purchase the roadways on this map like you can on some maps like county line you also cannot purchase the town land area on this map like you can with some maps 
So if you do want to edit areas like the town or the roadways or some of these areas that are non-purchasable, there was another one somewhere. Oh, it was right over here then you will need global companies, which is required for this map anyways. And for those of you who don't know how to do that, all you have to do is get out of your vehicle, do control G, that's left control G, brings up the global companies menu. You can click on the settings cog here on the far right top side and click active extend, active extended placeable. And you can now place anything on the map anywhere. There are multiple different road types on this map as well. As you can see, this is a minimal maintenance road right here. So there are, um, I forget, what are they? They're like class A, class B road, and then is there a class C road? I forget how it's all structured down, but essentially there's highways, gravel roads, and dirt roads all throughout this map. As you can see, this portion of the map is very flat and very large field areas. If you are someone who likes to do smaller equipment and things like that, there are, no there are some areas that have smaller fields. Um, but primarily this, this map has very large open fields as that tends to be the theme of the Northern Iowa area. But you continue down this way and you will come across a gravel road eventually. This gravel road uh, takes you across the whole width of the map, similar to how the highway does, except this one is gravel and farther south. All in all, I'm very satisfied with this map so far and what I've experienced on it. Uh, it does have a season's mask on it, so snow should work on this map. And there are some cool little areas like this one right here that I wanted to show you where you do actually have kind of a river crossing to get through this area to the next couple sets of fields over in this kind of portion of the map. For those of you wondering where this is, we are down near field 39, 45, and 44. My one small criticism for this map, which is nothing very big for the average player, um, would be I prefer to see maps that have at least say two towns on it I feel like when you have two decent sized and and decently detailed towns it really really helps for those of you who are attempting some sort of role play um, because you can kind of break up the town into two separate areas you can go to one town or you can go to the other it provides you a lot of different possibilities county line was one of my favorite maps for that reason it did have two separate towns in two different areas on the map and I understand this is based off of a place in real life and there would not be a town within the areas that um, you have allowed yourself to build in with this 4x4 grid. Uh, but for future reference, uh, I just personally prefer, you know, when there are two towns on a map, it makes roleplay a whole lot easier. Again, that's not for everyone. That is just my small little gripe. I, we could always go in and custom build a town, say in the bottom right portion or on the very far right portion of the map if we so desired. The road layout of this map though does allow it to take uh, quite a good bit of time to get around the map depending on what you are driving um, and the roads are wide enough that you will mostly be able to get around with no problem. There are some areas like that where you have guardrails that you will have to watch and be a little bit more careful on. But in this cluster over here you will notice that there are quite a few farms in this area. If we just kind of scroll in right here you'll notice down that whole stretch there were farms along the whole way and right down here there are quite a few as well and in this cluster right here i think all in all so far my two favorite areas on this map are this area right over here where you do have these waterways in the fields and maybe even i would add kind of this bottom area over here where you did have to cross that river to enter into the uh the fields but guys this is a basic overview and just kind of drive around an exploration of the flint hills map now as i said uh, depending on when you are watching this video, the new version may or may not have been released with the custom textures. Do uh, keep in mind that if you do download the custom texture version, it is more taxing on your PC. So if you are running a lower end PC, you probably will want to go with the standard texture version that we are running right here, right now. Like I said down below, I've linked the link to this map so you can download it if you are interested. I've also linked another YouTube video walkthrough where they go more in depth into the various farms and town area and everything like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and until next time, I'll see y'all later.